YouTube, what's good? We back with another video. This time we're doing something a little different, right, Eman? <laughs> Yeah, I yep. haven't. I'm, I got a gun up up to him, up to his face. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna be doing as you can see. Got the Italy jersey on. Yep, me too. And he's got the yeah. He's, he's going for pug pug back here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna predict. We're gonna predict the entire Euro 2020. We're gonna try not to be biased, right? Yeah, we're not gonna be biased at all. Yeah, let's start. So Group A has consists of our squad: Italy, Switzerland, Turkey. And Wales. So, who do you got, man? Italy number one. Not biased at all. Now, hey, a little biased there. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see what you have. Eh? <laughs> Second, I have Wales. Number three, I have Switzerland. I, I don't know a whole lot about them, but I just don't think they're as good as Wales and Italy. And number four, I have Turkey, because I just... Because. <laughs> you know, because whatever. I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I've never, I don't really... I don't think they've really needed that yeah. much in this stuff, so... I literally have the exact same as it. But yeah, no, Italy, I think, is on top of this group. I think Italy's just in a class of their own compared to them. Um, I think this is a pretty easy group, actually. But Group B, on the other hand, they have Denmark, Russia, Belgium, and they have Finland. I've never seen Finland in soccer in my life. But for me, I had Belgium taking number one. Another class of their own. They're just yeah, yeah, beyond everybody it. else. Um, I got Denmark as well after them. I think they're pretty damn good. They got Ericsson. They got a bunch of good players. So I put them actually ahead of Russia. Russia, mother Russia. I think the only way they, the only way Russia gets through is if something's fixed. So that's all. It's the only way. And Finland, uh, they have to be trash. So I put them at the end. One that's obviously not different is Belgium. They're just too stacked. Yeah. <laughs> so this uh, is probably one of the, the best ones in here. So, but I put Russia number two and Denmark three. I think Denmark is is good. I just think Russia is a little better, or at least they have more experience in this kind of thing. And there's not much to say about Finland because I just. I, I don't really know anything about them soccer-wise. I don't think they're that good. Prove us wrong, right? So um, Group C, another so-so group. You got, a, you got a team I never heard of here. Um, we got Austria, Ukraine, North Macedonia, and then the Netherlands. So I had um, the Netherlands, number one. I had Austria taking in second. Then I have Ukraine, three, and then North Macedonia. I'm sorry. I heard they beat Germany, you said. But I don't I don't know if I could take much into account for that, so I'm going to have them last. So, so I'm going to get you more hate with this one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so what I have here, I'm going with more of a sleeper option here. The Netherlands, I think they are good, but the fact we haven't seen them for a while, and, and I've heard a lot of good things with Austria. Austria somehow gets first, and uh, Netherlands are second. And something where I'm going to get some hate with it on this, <laughs> and I think uh, Macedonia nuts. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll rewind that there. Uh, North Macedonia, I guess. Macedonia. I put them for three, and Ukraine four, just because I don't really know much about Ukraine. It's boring as fuck if we can do everything this Well, if you always predict, like, yeah, we predict the best teams every single time. And then uh, Group D is uh, kind of interesting. You got England, uh, Czech Republic, Croatia, and Scotland. So I have England, number one, Croatia, second. And then Czech Republic, I have them third. And Scotland, I'm sorry, they're probably gonna get fucking flamed, I think so. <laughs> but no offense, even though I am part Scottish, but I mean, I don't know, I, I just, you know, I, I think England's gonna come away with this. So this is one that I I didn't copy you, this is just the same thing. Just yeah, like, yeah. you didn't copy me with other ones. <laughs> yeah. Same thing, England, I think, is just too stacked. So for Group E, we got Poland, Spain, Sweden, and Slovakia. I have uh, Spain number one. History-wise, they know how to win. And then I have Sweden number two, even though I, I think they can squeeze in second, but they can easily go third as well. And then I have Poland for number three, because I think they're a, a good team as well, but I think they can easily get second as well. But And Slovakia at four. That's kind of bold, eh? Because you're disrespecting some Polish people. Poland, they think they're good. They think they're really good. I think Spain, they have a little bit of rejuvenation. De Gea is really good and in goal. And they got guys like Morata. They still have Xavi. They, they have all these good guys still. They're pretty good. I think they'll win the group. Poland, I think like, okay, I don't think, Pol I think Poland's a little overrated. Sweden, I think Sweden will Still get a chance to make it through the third place. Slovakia, they, they could be, could get an upset here and there, but can't see much. And then now we got the group of death, group F. Um, you know what, this is crazy. So we got Portugal, France, Germany, and Hungary. And here's the interesting thing, like I'll go, I have France going number one. They are the best team in this tournament, I believe by far. But the, inter the interesting thing about that is pretty much, I know this isn't the World Cup, but every World Cup, 
champion the last few times has got eliminated in the, in the latest World Cup. But Spain though, Spain did pretty good. Okay, won Spain won three in a row, like two <laughs> Euros and one World Cup. So I think they're gonna break a little curse here. I think France for sure is gonna make it through here. They're gonna get revenge for losing at home over Portugal in the final of the Euro 2016. Um, I think Portugal is gonna come second. Um, and then you got Germany, not really impressed with them, honestly. Uh, a lot of problems. I don't know if it's aging stuff. Oh, that that that, that manager's I know that that manager's haircut is horrible still. And then I got hungry. Hungry's last one hundred percent. But yeah, I have France number one. I, I think they're just too good overall and everything like that. Portugal number two. Um, and then yeah, Germany. No offense to Germany. Um, and then you might lose your appetite a little bit with Hungary. But the last Euro Euro twenty sixteen, they added the round of sixteen. So in order to make the round of sixteen, they had to expand, obviously. So what they did was four third place teams advance. So I have Denmark number one and Germany number two. Then I have Poland number three. So maybe Poland haters can stop yelling at me maybe a little bit. And I have Switzerland number four. Um, for me, I got Germany number one. I think they're gonna make it through. And then I got Sweden second. So I didn't. I obviously had them as third. So. I think Sweden will definitely make it through. Uh, then I got Czech Republic, actually. I have them going through. And I have Switzerland as well, so we're the same uh, way of thought cool. in terms of Switzerland. Uh, we're going to be starting the knockout stage. Um, I have, one of my matchups was Belgium and Sweden. I have Belgium beating Sweden, I think, 100%. I don't think it's really a doubt. The second matchup, we got Italy and Austria. I think Italy better fucking win. For God's fucking sake, man. <laughs> they better fucking beat Austria. Jesus Christ. Um, I have France beating Switzerland. I'm sorry, Switzerland. I think you're a solid squad, but France, I believe... I I'm really high on France, like I said. Croatia against Poland. I have Croatia. I have Spain beating the Czech Republic. This is a really interesting one. England and Portugal. I have England beating Portugal. They have no excuse. The Queen, uh, the Queen wants to see something happen. They want to, they want to win. And then I have the Netherlands and Germany. I have the Netherlands beating Germany. And with Denmark and Wales, I cannot believe this is a matchup in the round of 16. I believe Denmark will beat Wales. So I'm sorry, Poland, but I just. I have Belgium beating Poland because Belgium's too stacked. I have Italy beating the Netherlands. And they have a really close matchup here. France beating uh, Switzerland, you know, yeah. very close. Croatia, I have them beating out the fellow Swedes. And I have Spain beating out Denmark. I just think the experience there and their new generation should be strong enough to take out Denmark. I got England taking out sports school, which should be a close one. I think this one could go to penalty kicks. Uh, yeah, and then I got uh, Germany taking out Austria. And then I got uh, an upset thing here. I, I think Wales is, is better, but I, I think in this situation, I'm going with an upset with Russia taking out Wales. Now on to the quarterfinals. I have Italy against Belgium. I have Italy taking down Belgium. This is a super match. Um, and then I have France, a rematch of the World Cup final. I have them beating Croatia again. Croatia does not have what it takes to get to the next level at this point. Um, another big matchup, England goes against Spain. I have England beating Espana. I think Spain's gonna get fucking exposed here. Okay, I have Netherlands, uh, the team, the orange team, <laughs> beating uh, Denmark, so. Italy, uh, yeah. This one pains me because you know, I could see this be the end of Italy if this happens. There's no bias in here. I just, Donnarumma generation, this could easily go either way. But yeah, I have Italy taking out Belgium, France taking out Croatia, England taking out, you know, your favorite team, Spain, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but this is where I have Germany taking you guys out. That's crazy, you have Germany making the semis. So. What was see after this? So right. Mother Russia's done. So now we hit the semifinals. This is showing I'm not biased, okay? I, I don't wanna hear it anymore. France and Italia. Yeah. I have France beating Italy. I think this is the end of the road for Italy. I don't, I don't think Italy can do it. My other team, England, I have them beating the Orange team, the Netherlands. Uh, I think they're gonna beat them bad. I think Netherlands shouldn't be in the semis right now. So <laughs> I think they should be happy enough. They can book their, bring their luggage and they can be happy. This pains me to say, very much so, but I'm sorry, Italy. This is the end of the road. No! We both had France beating Italy, eh? I really hope to God, you know, that they it, no, 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 not even that, that they get that easy matchup that the Netherlands have. <laughs> I, if they somehow find a way to like yeah. switch things up, you know, I would really appreciate that. I have England taking out Germany. I think that's the end of the world. Then. And our, our finals are both the same. Finals are both the same. Yeah. France, England. Now, who do we got? We're going to say them now. I have France winning two, two big tournaments in a row. Over my squad, England. That's uh, it's tough to say, but I think they'll get it done. What do you think? I'm going with England here. Not just because I'm not going because the home thing, but it's one game 
Yes, they are at home, by the way. At Wembley yeah, Stadium, that's yeah, where the final is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's one game. Anything can happen. If they they feel good about themselves up to take it out, Ronaldo and uh, yeah. Portugal and, you know, whoever else they took, they took out, they're going to... They took out Spain. Mm -hmm. They took out, like... You know, bigger, huge countries. For them to get to the final, they have like the no, hardest. Like no, I'm saying in your in your bracket, that's a really hard fucking. Road. That, that's the only thing I feel bad about that they might not. You can get it. <laughs> how, how hard it is, they can easily get out. But if they do get there, I think they're gonna win just because they already like beat out these other teams and it's one game and anything can happen. I, I hope your prediction is correct. But yeah, just to wrap it up, we're gonna do our awards that we had. So there's three awards, and we're just gonna talk about the three main ones. Um, player of the tournament, I have Kylian Mbappe. Um, in terms of golden boot, I have Harry Kane, my boy. Uh, all he knows how to do is score goals. He's slow now, but all he can do is boot, find that boot in the back of the yeah, net. Yeah. So for young player of the tournament, again, an English player, Jadon Sancho. I have him winning. Uh, he's a winger for uh, England, and I see him taking that for them as well. So taking some awards, just not the trophy they won. Player of the tournament, I also went with. But, but... About the yeah. golden boots, you know, I looked at other options for scores and nobody's like that. And they, if England does make it that far, you have to go with somebody. Yeah. You can't go oh um, some uh, with how I with a Spanish player where where I have um, North Macadamia nuts. You know, I can't yeah. go with them because sorry, you got out in the group stage. And younger youngest player, I, I went English as well, but I went with a different player, Phil Foden. Mm. That's his name. Yeah, pretty good. So yeah, we had some interesting predictions. Yeah, yeah. So we have France and England both in the final, but different different winners. So. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're hoping that mine's more right than yours. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's actually crazy because France and England, they're very close in countries. Like, they're very good allies and stuff. So them facing off in the final, that'd be crazy. Well, one more question. Do you think that one goes to penalty kicks? <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know. If I, I don't think people can handle that, I don't think. Yeah, that's what we have for the Euro 2020. We're, are you, oh, we still have to call it 2020 because they didn't want to change Yeah, it yeah, yeah. 2020. Sorry, we're... Posting this video a year later. So yeah, yeah sorry <laughs> about this. But uh, yeah, we're really excited. Obviously, obviously, I would love Italy and England in the final. That would be crazy. Oh my god. Uh, actually, it wouldn't be that fun if I think about it. Be well, torn on what to do. Well, it's not torn for me because I I'm fully Italian yeah. and you're uh, you're half, half. half. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm torn. But yeah. <laughs> But yeah, let us know. Do you uh, do you think we're spot on? Do you think E Man is out to lunch? Do you do you think I'm in another universe? I don't know. So maybe we're <laughs> completely off. We're not soccer experts, but we know a fuck ton of nothing. So yeah, yeah. that's all that matters, though, right? It's all luck. If you guys want to actually play this tournament predictor, I'm gonna have it in the description um, that you can actually play this right now, uh, right before the Euro start, and you can watch your bracket and see where it goes. So, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll have more content regarding some of the tournaments coming up, just to give you some content about that. And have some fun. It's going to be a fun summer. Let's get it. Anyways, I'm Vince. That's E-Man. That was us making our predictions for the Euro 2020. Peace.